How's it going everybody? So today we're playing some more of Rust and this video is going to be different from my usual ones. Today I'm going to be shooting off some ideas that I think could really improve Rust and make it a better experience for everybody. And these ideas I shoot off aren't going to be the obvious ones like, oh they need to add electricity, they need to add cars, they need to add a shit done or whatever the f Everybody talks about them and they're already probably working on it. I'm talking about some lesser known ideas, maybe, I don't know, I'm just, I'm going off the top of my head here. Starting right off, I really think they should be adding a new barricade type. In Legacy, we had a wooden barricade that was pretty skinny and not too wide, but it was tall enough that you could hide behind it while standing up. This was a very useful barricade in a lot of different gunplays as it was fairly cheap and because of the height of it, you could protect yourself even from an uphill battle where someone's shooting down on you. With the barricades we have in current Rust, they're just, like, they're kind of real- Ah, uh, fuck, I can't place it here. The barricades we currently have, yeah, they're a bit more realistic to real-world barricades, but even while you're crouched, people can still definitely see you. And all of these barricades are basically the same. None of them really have a better trait over the other ones, especially the sandbag and the concrete. They're the same exact size. No one uses these, or if they do, it's a very rare occasion, because all I ever see is damn external walls because not only are they very effective look how much cover you get this is massive but they also might be too cheap so i think they should double the cost of it but also double the protection so people use it less often for gunfights and more for bases but only if they actually had a barricade like in legacy where it's about yay high maybe a little less Something that really drives my gears is that they only added a few actual blueprints into the game that you can learn, and they only really come out of barrel drops. Let's see here, come on, blueprint, show me. Yeah, there we go, blueprint. Small planter box. Yeah, sure, I guess it's nice knowing it. Oh, another blueprint. Mailbox. Yes, that was a needed blueprint. Yeah, that couldn't be a default blueprint like a bunch of other roleplayer items. But yes, in order to get the precious mailbox I desired for so long, I needed to find it out of a barrel, and now I'm gonna find it 10 more times throughout the week. That's what I'm saying, it just feels like it's giving you blueprints on junk items for no reason. None of them actually have a purpose, and they get annoying once you learn it once, because once you have it once, that blueprint serves no other purpose. There's nothing you can scrap it down or turn it into. So my suggestion is that all those simple items like planter boxes, mailboxes, whatever else in that type of category, just have it as a default blueprint so we can actually get real loot out of barrels instead of the same useless blueprint. Oh, something that I love to make a return. Basically, three years ago, I actually made an update video where they introduced smoke rockets into the game. I made a video on that and it actually shows the smoke rockets working. They don't even work like that anymore. Basically, it's like a smoke grenade that you can load into your rocket launcher. You can find them right over an ammunition smoke rocket, work in progress. It's had that work in progress title for three years. I can only assume that they completely abandoned it or forgot about it. Basically, when you shot it, a big cloud of smoke was created. There's actually a raid cam where this was shown. People shot towers with these smoke rockets so they couldn't see, they couldn't roof camp because there's a thick screen of smoke blocking their vision. But as you see now, they don't even produce the smoke because basically there was a bug where the smoke wouldn't go away. It lasted for forever or until the server just simply restarted. What I'd love to see is that they actually finish these rockets, and not only that, but make smoke grenades too. They already have a model and smoke effects from the supply signal. But instead of uh, releasing purple smog and calling in juicy loot, it's a lot thicker and it's smoke that lasts for about, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute. Another quick idea is that for me personally, I really don't think rat towns have enough loot in them besides like dome or launch site. Every time I go in one, like water treatment or power plant, I don't find shit. I can't even find a single box and when I do, it's usually useless stuff. I really feel like the loot in Rad Towns is simply not good enough, especially compared to Legacy. So yeah, I'd like it if Rad Towns were a bit better with the loot and there was more boxes around. And that leads into my next idea. If the Rad Towns aren't going to have much for boxes at all, then it should have a good amount more barrels. Sometimes you'll find barrels like singly scattered around a Rad Town, which looks so odd. They just stick out out of nowhere. They just spawn randomly. Even food crates, food crates just randomly spawn around here. 
fly. Yeah, the junk piles. Basically have those junk piles spawn in different locations in the rat town. Instead of having those random ass barrels over there, have a junk pile spawn here. Maybe one over here. Have those junk piles and like, and wooden pallets of barrels just spawn in more open areas. See how these barrels are gathered up? And it's actually on a wooden pallet. How about having more of these, but with real barrels? It looks nicer, it's more immersive, and we got more shit to go hit in case there's no boxes inside of the rat town. We have a more of a reason to come to the rat town. While I'm recording this, I kind of noticed I might sound like angry and a little bitchy. I'm not angry, I'm just, I'm just passionate. I'm trying to get my points across. I'm just, I'm just very into this video. Something that I'd absolutely love to see is two different tiers, or maybe at least just one, of a grenade launcher. Bean cans in this game could actually be a viable raiding tool, but it's hella dangerous. So I'd like the idea of possibly adding a scrap grenade launcher that takes bean can grenades as its ammunition. It can hold maybe four to six of them at a time. So instead of putting your life at risk, if you learn that grenade launcher, you can shoot them from a distance and maybe they explode on impact, which could be cool. Or even if they landed or stuck to the wall and it still took its uh, regular time to explode, that'd be fine too. At least I'll be safe way the fuck back here. Now the reason why I said two grenade launchers could be really cool is that they had that one I was talking about that's like in the scrap mid-tier range. And then they could have the factory new style. So there's basically like four tiers to this game. Like military gear that you can't even craft, you have to find it. Who the fuck is that? Oh god. <laughs> what the fuck, little C? I didn't even know you were here. I'm just shooting a stupid video. <laughs> Fuck it, eh? Do you have God mode? No? Uh, that sucks. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> but like I was saying, there's basically a tier that you can't even craft. You gotta find it, and it's the best shit in the server. Well, maybe they could have a factory new grenade launcher and have special grenade ammo, and maybe they explode on impact. And that could actually be a viable rating tool. Currently, it takes 2C4 to get through a stone wall, 4 rockets to get through a stone wall. Well, with that grenade launcher, it could take 8 grenades to get through a stone wall. You just keep doubling them. After talking about the grenade launcher that they should add, and the different tiers that are pretty obvious in the game, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, there's something lacking in the bow category. We have the very primitive bow. Yeah, it's solid. Everyone uses it. Then we got the crossbow, the mid-tier bow. It does pretty good, better than the original bow. I just missed that barrel because I suck. But we're missing something right here, face punch. We need a tier three bow. We need a metal compound bow that uses metal tipped arrows. Face punch, make it happen. And while you're at it, make explosive arrows. And that's yet another different cool rating tool you could use. Make it so it doubles the grenade ammo. Two C4, four rockets, eight grenades, and 16 explosive arrows to get through a stone wall. And that's some of the ideas I think that could really improve Rust. I actually got plenty more, but I didn't want this video to be an hour long. Those are the main ones that I kind of want to talk about, and at least the ones that I remembered when I went to go shoot this video. Now, personally, I think Rust is a great game. Yes, it definitely could use some improvements, but they were in early alpha for years now, and they released the game, but I still feel like it's not a fully released game. There's still some things that they should have added to it, which they are. They're still doing free updates every single month. I think I would give this game just the game, the game mechanics, everything in the game, Probably an 8 out of 10. It's a really great survival game. I actually think it's one of the best survival games. I used to think it was the best, but over the years, they're kind of lacking on survival mechanics versus competing titles like Ark or Conan. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to have a fantastic day. I know that I will, and I will see you guys all later.